nice, but pulled the game up. Good morning. Hello. Welcome, Raiders. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining this morning. And thank you for all those follows, my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Um, let me see if I can convince OBS that I actually have the game on. Oh, because it wants to be 1.20.2. Of course, silly me. Will that do it? I love how everything that I tested that worked last night is not working this morning. That's fantastic. Um, oh, yeah, at least it was at the end, Stormy. I'm so, I, I had a lot of fun watching your stream. Thank you so much for such an entertaining start to the morning. Um, and, you know, so we've, we've moved to different technical difficulties. Amazing. Fantastic. So, welcome. While I figure out why it's not showing Minecraft at all, um, I will say welcome and welcome back if it's if you've been here before. Welcome if it's your first time. I'm Nursey Geek, and this stream is part of the Stream to Remember in support of. The dementia research community. Um, oh, thank you, Lady Viv. So we've got a number of incentives in place in in play here, and um, hey, you have them on speed dial. That's good. I'm gonna try quitting out of this and going back in because turn it off and back on again actually worked. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. All right. Well, let me all tab over because there's a couple things I want to do before actually starting into the game. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe put my headphones on right so that I should walk the way it's supposed to because that, that could be useful. Um, mm -hmm, that's a thing. And um, if you have checked the various um, incentives at all, you will see that one of the things, the, the low bar item, is to switch out my plushy companion here. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around in a minute, so I'm actually looking at the game. Looking at the game. <laughs> because right now I'm backward. Good morning, the Blue Owl. Welcome, welcome. Um, so I have various plushies who are going to accompany me today, and we're starting with my emotional support hybrid. Um, great, greatest international scavenger hunt, um, which had yearly hybrid mascots. This was the possible half possum, half bull, <clears throat> and I thought this would be a good one to start with because the other side of the service desk we have I am possible because dealing with 
issues surrounding dementia often feels impossible. However, it is, in fact, possible. And that is why we are here today, raising money in conjunction with the Bondi Tabari ride for the Dementia Research Community of Australia to advance both awareness and research for dementia. Um, so, and what I'll be doing for any donos that come in at the, um, and I was thinking, whatever, at the $1 level, or if it makes you do $150, I think might actually be the minimum for vets, um, then I will switch out. Well, I, it's possible we'll stay here the whole time, but I will add another plushie over here. Um, and then for $10, I put cat ears on for 10 minutes. For $15, I wear a fascinator for 15 minutes. For $25, you get to make me eat a uh, Vegemite cracker sandwich. Um, for $50, I'll put on butterfly wings, which actually impede my ability to play the game because I'm only doing one at a time. And for um, if anybody actually wants to go for $100, you get me wearing all the things beyond ridiculous. So let me turn the camera back around so I'm looking at the game. And then we can get started. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. All right. So what we're playing today is Mage Rage. And that is it's within Minecraft. It's not a mod. It is um, weekly free maps that come from the mob cave. And it's everything is in function, so you don't actually have to download any mods. If you're playing in multiplayer, you might have to download a certain mod. Um, but single player, it's all built in. Um, and it is essentially a scavenger hunt that has some magic spells I can use. And one of the things that we're offered in this starter box is a tip of the week, which is there are free, free friendly dragons somewhere on the map. If I can find one, I can hop on and go for a ride. Beware that when I sit down and drink, it flies away. So I'll make good use of my time. Yes, I am probably going to want to find that. Um, we can turn dragons off if they're causing a lag problem. That should not be an issue in single player. And I am absolutely keeping keep inventory on because that is for me a key function of the game because dying is sometimes strategically necessary. <laughs> um, but you have to have all of the items of the scavenger hunt in your inventory at the same time to win. Um, first, I get to choose five spells. So let me get on that. I'm going to stick with mostly my comfort spells. We're going to get water, uh, which gives you, not only can you cast water on the ground, but you get water breathing if you are in the water. and grace feeling which not only shows you where mobs are but also lets you cast lanterns around which is very helpful not having to worry about making torches um telekinesis because i can mine anything with that from up to 30 blocks away and last night i was playing around with a couple of different things and in a different map there are weekly maps i did not i have not seen this one yet um i decided i'm going to go with levitation Bonus um, for both travel and weapons. And um, yeah, let's get started and see what we need to collect. I am playing October. Thank you, Lady Vivian, for asking. I chose to play October. I have not played Mage Rage in a while, although I did play one of the August maps last night but just to test things. And um, in October, um, Ed, the master mage who creates these, likes to throw in all kinds of jump scares. <clears throat> I don't remember what the jump scares are. I did see them on the announcement video, but I don't remember. It's probably going to be gas shooting at me in the overworld for all I know. Okay. Um, it's probably pushing it to say that I'm ready, but let's go. All right. I am on top of a tree. Um, that is helpful. Let's eat the crystal ball out and have a look what we need. We need a dead bush, so we're going to need cheers. We need a pumpkin. We 
10 pumpkins. Uh, what's that? A black candle. I love needing candles. I heard a bell. Hello, how hungry am I? Okay, then. Um, let me alt tab over and have a look. Um, so, Celestial smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Um, a hard spot. Interestingly enough, I did have to do a test in advance. I have some fairly uh, drastic food restrictions, so I had to make sure I would be able to eat this safely, and I can. And I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. Uh, years ago, I had tried Marmite, which I came to the conclusion should only ever be used in food and not by itself. Um, But I, I don't hate the Vegemite. It is definitely a very strong flavor. So, cheers! And that was a little more than I had put on the cracker for a taste before. But it's still fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, Marmite can function as power supply. I think they're related. I just don't. I, I think they're related, but not identical products. Uh, so thank you very much, Celestial, for that um, donation and um, for that snack. <laughs> Hi, Mango Roots. We need Endstone, which I am hoping is a drop from. Please, we do have some special drops for mobs in this game. Um, and stone can come from Enderman. Wonderful, thank you. And bees can drop honeycomb. I had forgotten that. That is going to be important for getting that candle. Great. Um, and that's a regular 10 pumpkins, string, an anvil, a chip dandel. That's even more fun. Um, so lots of iron and drop it lots of times, but not too many times. Campfire is easy enough and deep slate bricks. Okay, let's get started. Um, I should have put on slowness before jumping down. I generally try not to chop down trees right, right at spawn. Because if I land in that again, when I die, I'd like the tree to actually be there. Good. Endermite. Go, go away, Lee. Okay. Go away. And if you're still alive, come back here. Get out, out of there. Here, have flying lessons. Not the pig! I mean, I could also just let it kill me and find out where exactly spawn is that way. Um, and I guess there's my food. Haven't even had time to make any weapons yet, you silly thing. Okay, now I have amethyst I don't need. Awesome. Um. Alright. Wonderful. Let's see if this village has a smoker. Um, it's got... bales, which will be helpful for bread. I don't have to carry a smoker around. That's probably more than enough. Thank you very much, Brill, for that follow. Welcome, welcome. Sorry I didn't catch every other follow by name. There were just a lot of you. I do welcome everybody who followed and hope that the uh, little Capamon kept up with giving welcomes. Uh, yeah, smoker. Great. Thank you. Uh, let's pop those in there along with that while I work on getting set up. Uh, 
not, you know, I'm not, I don't make wooden tools, that's silly. Because I can telekinese up some... From somewhere. I don't think I actually need anything else from the village. Because they're not going to have pumpkins. Unless they, they're not going to... I don't think Acacia Villages have them in their chests ever. But I could look and see if anybody has anything. Chests. I don't think I've seen any in the ones that have been so far at all, actually. The other one I was in... No. Uh, hello, George. Nope. Little houses don't tend to have chests anyway. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's, um, let's get some stone. Cobble, really? Uh, not gravel, cobble. We'll just go this way. Wonderful. I got mostly dirt and one cobble out of that. Thanks. Game. And there's copper that's gonna. That I don't need. Okay. Um, these spells do have a cooldown. Oh, good. And I had gotten andesite before, too. Oh. Here's the other fun thing. The um, wand is actually a carrot on a stick, so pigs love me. Let's uh, switch to levitation and get some more pork chop power. Back to telekinesis. Yep. Pig, you really don't know what's good for you at all. Not back five, not enough. Really? There we go. Alright. That should be plenty. Now let's make some tools. Now that I'm, you know, almost starving. Did I not take those? Yeah, I did take those. Okay. Let's grab some... Can make. I didn't make sticks. Oh, shh. Get out of here, you stupid thing. Eight of these endermites. Hi, right, come on back over. Uh, I will give you flying lessons. You're gonna love it. Oh, good. You deal with the endermite, please. All right, now it's telling me I can make. All right, I don't actually need to make a stone pickaxe. Now that I have. Do get a um, silk touch iron pickaxe because there's usually at least one item that needs silk touch. Um, and I do want a shovel and an axe. I do always make a sword because I have a thing about um, not endermites, the other bugs, uh, silverfish. Um, thank you very much, Bonquisha. Yes, the stream avatars are loads of fun. If you would like to play with them as well. Um, if anybody has the points to do so, you can also do um, a channel point redemption for a dance party. Make everybody dance. This had better be enough for the entire stream. Uh, or at least for this entire run. This Hopefully this run will not take the entire time. Um, let's get my crystal ball back on my hotbar and see what I'm getting again. Oh right, I need to kill an enderman. So I'm not going to the end. <laughs> um, so let's get on that. There was one. There's usually endermen everywhere. And now that I want one, there will be. I was over here somewhere. Okay. Um, cat. I wish I had fish to tame you, but that's not going to happen. Um, all right. We need a desert. We are in a savanna, so there should be one not far away. I might, oh. That's. Go fly. 
Hi. Away. Please. Coming back. There we go. That should be enough to get rid of you. Ooh, dragon. Dragon would be really helpful for my biomes. Backseat maging. I, I missed whatever the backseat maging was. Uh, runs away from pumpkins? Did I really? Of course I did. Because why not? We have sniffers randomly running around. Uh, I lost the dragon. There's the dragon. Will you please land so I can fly on you? Also, I see a Enderman over here, I think. There we go. You can also have flying lessons. If I can manage to hit you before you come kill me. Oh, this is gonna work well. Nope. That worked well. <sighs> okay, so we are spawning in on the same tree. We don't always spawn in at the exact same point as we start the game. What else on the hop bar? Um, alright. And it's getting dark. Wonderful. And we've got ghasts. Great. Perfect. Uh, no. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Uh, no, okay, so instead of me getting returned to sender, they're just gonna kill me. Wonderful. Um, did I get the pumpkin? At least I got one item. Great. We have gotten a start. Some run. A lot. Oh, and apparently I picked up a brain slug. So I'm down to five possible hearts. But I'm down to half a heart anyway. Really, please kill me. I, I need the brain slug to go, and I need my hearts back. Half a heart, that should do it. Yay. Uh, yeah. Oh, no worries at all, Stormy. Um, okay. So yeah, so many ghasts. Um, and I have no spells that will work against them. So that's fun. Levitating a ghast is entirely pointless. <clears throat> But levitating myself in search of a desert is pointy. So let's uh, let's see if there's a desert adjacent to this. Oh, good. Great. That's wonderful. I love that for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if the attack command's working. Uh, for all sorry, I don't usually have all the battle royale staff stuff um, turned on with the stream of course. Uh, that looks like we're heading for planes. Go this way. And next time I misfire the levitation spell, how about I switch to slowness? That's why I have it. Because in addition to giving, being able to cast slowness on mobs, I can also use it to make myself slow falling if I'm looking to get on the wand. So that's apparently where the ghasts were after me. So that's fun. Um, I'm going to end up getting a nice view from up here in a second. Okay, that does that could be desert, which would be great. You know, it's great to find desert, except I don't think the silk touch pick is gonna help me with a dead bush. I guess I will find out. But I think it might be one of those things like vines that you absolutely need shears for, in which case I need to just go underground and get iron. Alright. Let's get into slowness mode because I should now be able to just drip down gently into the desert. Oh, delayed attack. Okay. 
cool. Um, we have all the mobs, so that's fun. Will I have time to find out if I can? No, that does not work. Wonderful. So you can all have slowness. And I can get up in the air away from you. Um, and find somewhere to go underground. Or a mountain that looks like it will have exposed iron, but I don't hold out a whole lot of help for that. And great. At least I caught it. Um, searching out desert might not have been the greatest first step, but you know, it's what I did. So I'm actually going to go over here. And maybe find ourselves a cave. Lovely. That's absolutely not what I meant to do at all. And this is where I get to demonstrate the beauties of the revealing spell and being able to cast. All right, we got a cave down here somewhere, maybe? Oh, we got some iron. I only need two. Um, of course, my pick is silk touch, so I have to wait for <laughs> telekinesis to cool down. Um, we need lots of iron for this, so actually, let's try to get all of this. That's not gonna be even close to enough, but it will at least let me make a furnace and get myself some shears. Um, do you have any logs? Yes, I do. Let's start by doing that. And we can pick up the iron, make some shears. And at least get the dead bush. I, wow, I have folks who know all the stream avatar commands. Let me, while this is cooking, uh, pop over and see if I, oh, I can't activate them while, while it's connected, can I? Okay, it's fine, everything's fine. Um, Yeah, being on two separate PCs would be probably wise. Okay, so let's get my shears. And actually, I should probably also cook up some food, um, but I don't want to waste a whole lot of time sitting here cooking things. But if I have any cooking time left once the rest of this iron is done, I'll cook up whatever I got. Danners, welcome. Thank you for that follow. Your coworker is just laughing at you. Okay. Um, I missed something. I thought you were not in the office today. You have sent three separate messages to your work chat instead of Twitch chat. Oh, oh, oh. Eek. All right, let's try to get some hearts back. And see about going and getting that. Uh, uh, I want to. I want to get out of here. This is not working. Mm -hmm. There we go. And let's just take a whole bunch of fall damage, because why not? I get that. I did. Wonderful. Um, let's get somewhere that's else. We're already on levitation. Great. Um, the other thing we need that's in a warm biome is a mangrove swamp. 
guess let's look and see what's over this way. That looks like potentially Mesa. Hard to tell until it really renders in. No, just more desert. I got a pumpkin. I got a pumpkin. Oh, I need 10 pumpkins. Right. All right. Let me get somewhere safe-ish. Now that the sun's coming up. And, um... Actually be safe-ish down here now that it's getting lighter? I don't see anything. Except the remains of a... That is the most broken ruined portal I think I have ever seen. Okay. Let's check what I've got so far. Uh, right. Eat the thing. So all I have is that I grabbed one pumpkin, but not the rest. Brilliant. Um, I need to kill an enderman for endstone. I need my wizards. I need to kill a bee for... Okay. Hi, enderman. How about I do this the smart way this time? Yeah, hi there. Um, well, that's going to have to do now, isn't it? Or do I have some other connected points? It's fine. All right. Come on over. Endermite, you are going to be the death of me because you're going to make me get in range of the Enderman. I hate everything right now. Okay. Wonderful. Where were those pumpkins again? Were there maybe 10 of them? I saw some orangey stuff that away other than the acacia. Uh, no. No, that was not correct. There we go. And that was poppies. Poppies do not help. I see lots of watermelons and no pumpkins. Yay. I thought it was near where the ghasts had been across the water from the village? Okay. There's a lot of water. Across which water? <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna have to get back down to the ground. Somewhere down here. Turn left. Now you're gonna tell it's tell me it's my other left. Oh, never mind. It's lava. Great. Send me into lava. Thank you. That's that's wonderful. Uh. Okay. How about we grab some more blocks? An actual axe. I use it. All right. So we're looking for pumpkins. We're looking for a mangrove swamp. We need to kill Endermen and bees. There's the pumpkins. And some more dinner. Oh, incidentally, um, real mages don't sleep, so 
while I could make a bed if it was required for my collection, I cannot place it. Um, and I can use it, but it won't uh, sleep the night away. And I heard a dingling. Um, so, what have we got? Let me head over there and see. 15. That is 15 minutes of the Silly Fascinator. Yvonne? Okay. So. That's fun. Yes. And let me get the script up with the timer. Not there. Other script. Why is it not showing? No. Oh, there we go. Now it's showing. It's barely visible, but it's showing. There's my five minute timer. How many of these have I got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ed, I hate you. Ed! You made sure you spawned us in next to a village that had nine pumpkins next to it and said we need ten? It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Oh, wait. And the timer's set for the wrong amount. Hold on. I need to pull that script back up again. And stop. Reset. Uh... it's in seconds so that's fun there we go that's 15 minutes okay what are we looking for again not that but oh more pumpkins that are close to the pillager outpost thank you ed is there any chance they have anything i need i mean there could be some iron up there so i suppose i could levitate up and see if i can get anything on the top without dying but we've already died I don't know how many times, so who cares if I die, right? Hey guys. Don't mind me. Um. Thank you very much, mods, for um, doing such a good job on keeping up with chat, because I am not at all. Uh, no, why would you have any iron in here? I'll take the carrots and potatoes just for food, but I doubt I even need them. Unless they were some junk I don't need. Also, I never turned the hay bales into bread. Brilliant. Amazing. Okay. Uh, mangrove swamp. Right. That's what we're looking for. And if we happen to run into... We're going back to the village. That's not what I was trying to do. Um, no, I, that was aiming for the water, but you know, it's fine. I need all the goat horns too, but it's not like I get to keep them from here. Um, that's getting greener. Thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> 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 Okay. It would be great if I could maybe find something else before nightfall and more gas. I do at some point have to get down to deep slate level because I need whatever that was. I need four pieces of the top of deep slate. What am I seeing over there? Is that Eevee? I don't need Eevee at the moment, but I would gladly go visit if that is what that is there. I don't think so. I think it is just stuff that is 
vaguely rendering it out. All right, that's where we were. We don't want to be there. Go this way, stay with warm biomes in hopes of a mangrove swamp or, you know, a dragon because that's much faster than levitation for travel. I am currently wishing I had grabbed Link, but Link, I had issues when I was testing this last night, which I decided to blame on the multi MC instance, but they all also happened when I was using the spell. I don't think I'll be picking up the Blink spell today, even though I decided to use the launcher rather than deal with whatever was going on there. Um, so we're back to the desert. Great. Let's get lower, not that low. Don't need to die again. Okay. When we get to a warm, but not quite so dry biome, like, you know, a mangrove swamp, please. Well, there's water. That looks like it's getting off the green over there. Oh no, that's where I dug down last time by that village. Okay. One hour later. <laughs> that is a good idea, Wired. Um, I don't often get um, wandering traders because I'm not usually staying in one place long enough. All right. Oh, two desert villages awfully close together. Let's get closer to the ground so that maybe my running will move me a little faster because we're kind of an arc over the world, assuming the world is actually a cube and flat. I don't actually know. That That is a philosophical Minecraft question. Is the world flat? Or is it a cube? It is obviously not round because nothing is truly round in Minecraft. Okay. We've at least got another biome. Yay. I don't need a mesa, but at least we're not just looking at desert and then non warm biome. And here comes nighttime and ghasts. So this is gonna be great. Uh, I was that a was there a desert temple? I oh, thought I just saw two villages. What would I need from a desert temple? I guess I might give me a good bit of iron, which I do need for that anvil. Cube, how far do I have to go before I'm over the edge? That is an excellent question. These are the questions that nobody's asking in Minecraft. People are asking things about mobs, about what's going to get buffed or nerfed. Nobody's asking about the shape of the world. It's really, you know, a shame. A flat world would also be a cube world. Oh, because it's made out of cubes. Okay, now my brain hurts. All right, what are we getting into beyond this mesa? Please, 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 more warm biomes. What am I even seeing down there? Oh, the ghasts. Great. I'm staying above the ghasts. Wonderful. <laughs> as long as they don't look up. <laughs> More Mesa. And of course, this month, I or this week's map does not require Kata, red sand anything, red sandstone anything. Desert. Is 
There is string in the list. That is fair. Let me try getting down a little lower and see if there are any jacks. Might be one right there. There's also everything. Back up a little higher. Bob. Hi, Skelly. Uh, this looks like it is just a cave. Uh, lead to one. That I don't need dripstone, and it's a dead end. Okay. Come on. My gasps look really weird when you're up in the air with them. That's what I'm learning. Is that gonna lead me into a mine shaft? Um, yeah, my parkour skills are not the best. Yep, that just wrapped around. Uh, anything over there? Yes, that is totally the other reason I made a sword, so that I could get string off of a mineshaft. Of course, I could also, you know, try killing a spider. The normal way to get string. There's, uh, there's a spider, but it's in the middle of all the things. There went the phone. So that's fun. Land on top of one of those trees and fix that. Because that's the only way I can see chat. Okay. Did nothing shoot me, please, for the next two seconds. Thanks. Yes, thank you, Wired. I shall. Okay. And let's get back over. And. Wonderful! Right on top of me. Um, I don't think we're surviving this. I, I could be wrong, but. It seems unlikely, unless I just get myself underground really fast, and even then, probably the high. What is that? I, I, that was a zombie. Really? Ed, you really do love cooking up nightmares for October. Because, again, for anybody who came in late, this is an October map. Um, so... So yeah, Lady Viv, when you ever get around to playing October, apparently that's what zombies look like. So that's fun. Um, I thought I just saw a spider somewhere. Yeah, over there. You'd be so kind as to give me some string. When I need an eye, they won't drop one. When I need string, they give me eyes. Um. Oh, great. 
Great! Let's also have Storm. Um, eh. May have learned something. Enough. Something. In that last misadventure. Come over here, you. Looking at you. No! You're not supposed to kill me, I'm supposed to kill you! Her. Of course, I could try remembering I have magic. I was trying to do. In fact, that is the worst thing I could have done. Where'd you go? Hey, back over here, you. Thank you, I've got my end stone. Wonderful. So that was something. Now can we have some spiders? Ah, another brain slug. So these lovely things uh love to Yeah, and good, kill, please kill me. I would like to get my ten hearts back. Thanks. <clears throat> Brain slugs attach themselves to you and take away half your hearts. Um, yeah, no, Lady Luck is not in my favor at all. Okay. Well, looks like the sun's going down on the end of day two. So, we should have these disgusting things burning up soon. And some fossil spiders, hopefully. That would be nice. I was a little ambitious, probably, in downloading all of the October maps. Oh, oh, my 15 minutes are up. Yay. Oh, I'm sure they are enhanced as well as just looking different. And of course, you're gonna hide under there. I'm gonna stay up here until you start burning. Because even though I'm much less of a scaredy cat in Mage Rage than I am elsewhere, I've died enough. I don't need to just die for utter stupidity. Oh, tell me you're not husks. No, there were regular husks in the desert. You should be burning, right about now. Gosh, no, 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 no. Okay, amazing, fantastic. Yeah, this is, this is fine. Okay. Um, okay. Looking for spiders at the moment. Which should still, I think, be docile, even though the sun's not out. Oh, good. Um, there are some ancient mages down there. Those things with the, the enchanted armor and the witch hats are skellies that are super powered with magic. And there's a spider. Great. Right next to all the ancient mages. That's wonderful. Uh-huh. Could maybe have waited to switch over to the axe. Hmm. Derp, 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 der
Of course, the spider, I could levitate if I could manage. I hate everything. <laughs> I need that spider and I need it to drop strength. Let's switch this over to levitation. Oh, sun's back. That's unusual. Okay. Did you drop string, please? No. Why? Why? Well, you might as well. Just, just have at it. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's the Endermite, not the zombies. Yep. Ooh, just a passing summer storm. Yep. Well, that's true. I mean, as, as speed runs go, that was spectacularly unspeedy, but so much fun. Something about all that mess. All right, still haven't managed to score string. Where am I in terms of what I need? I need all the iron. I need deep slate. I could make the campfire by now. I need to kill a bee and hope that it drops honeycomb because we do have special drops. Can I scroll up to that? No, that has gone off the... Oh no, here we go. Oh yeah, ancient mages can drop gold or netherite ingots. Bees drop honeycomb. Creepers can drop slime balls. Ground can drop prismarine shards and crystals. Um, Enderman, as you saw, drop endstone, sometimes chorus fruit, and endermites drop image. Hoping for a bee to drop me some honeycomb. Need to find a mangrove swamp to get those fruits. And um and all the iron, and then I need to drop an anvil a whole bunch of times. But I could create at least the campfire, but I might as well wait till I'm underground hooking up iron or something to do that, because it's just gonna be time. And if I could find a mangrove swamp while it's, I don't know, day, that'd be awesome. If I could find a dragon that would let me fly around faster than levitation, that would also be great. Um, don't know that that's going to happen. We saw one earlier, but it didn't land. Or if it did, it landed after I died and couldn't get to it. Or wouldn't have known that it landed. could also do the thing I usually do, which is also at this point faster than I've been getting around levitating. Just make a boat. Because a mangrove swamp is a swamp, it's gotta have water. Oh, good, great! Again with the gas and the storm? Come on, Ed. This is just mean. Um, patient, please. Go. Oh, good. String. Yay. Okay. And I have a moment's piece to maybe, uh, find my crafting table and make a boat. That is not a boat. That is. And throw away some stuff. Okay, or not, because I'm running away from the skelly. Let's get in the water. Let's not go right next to the brain slug. I don't need to lose five hearts right now, because I only have three. Although I think it would only take me down to five possible hearts and would leave me at having three. But, you know. 
no, let's not test it right now. I think we can not test that and be okay with leaving that to other mages to science. No, I have water, not healing. Which, I mean, to be fair, I could also be going a lot faster if I used water. Well, rather than a boat. But it's a little harder to see stuff. But, you know, it actually, no, it is faster than a boat. Because the water spell, when you're holding it on your wand, gives you not only water breathing, but also Dolphin's Grace. Too bad we don't need Coral. Of course we don't, because that was too close to spawn. There are times when I miss the old days of Mage Rage when we had a world border. Hello, Grimberg, welcome! Um... So there was there was a very limited range of where things could be, but the mechanic of using all the barrier blocks for the world border was causing problems. So that went away. That is a desert temple. I don't know how much iron I expect to find there, but I could find some. So we're gonna give that a shot. of TNT I don't need and want to make sure it can't explode on. Uh, okay. Golden apple's nice. Can I get rid of some stuff I don't need? I got an egg. Um, don't need sandstone. I don't actually need that. Why do I have oh, the Enderman must have dropped a grass block? Don't need that. Forest fruit. Four iron. I don't need it's good to have just before. Okay. Um, don't need Depth Strider. I will take one iron ingot. Two more iron ingots. Okay, it's not a lot, but it is something. Okay. Take the golden apple. Let's. Out of here. Uh, okay. I should probably eat something. Again. Now I've got another brain slug. Okay, so we have scienced. It does not take away five hearts, it just takes away five potential hearts. Mangrove Swamp, wonderful. Can I get there before something kills me? Let's look at boards. 2200, negative 700-ish. In case I die before I get my mangrove roots. Which looks entirely likely. Did I get it or is my inventory full? I got it. Okay. Fine. Kill me. Send me back to spawn. Go for it. Really the only way to be sure you're going to get rid of the brain slug, so why not? Um, what do we got and what do we need? We have our dead bush. We need our black candle. So it means we're going to need black, which means we're going to need squid, which I could have done already. Got all those. I need a lot of iron. I need to make a campfire, and I need to make a fire. And that looks like a way to go right over there. <sighs> no, 
it's not. Unless it's got a way into an aquifer. It might. I don't, one thing the water spell doesn't give you that I wish it did is the night vision. Water <clears throat> that should do it. Oh. Any more iron there? One. I'm gonna have to get rid of more stuff. Um cost the TNT. Travel. Site, horse dirt, random oak log, cut sandstone. Right, here we go. Just so I don't. Uh, slowness. Like slow falling, please. Get down to deep sleep. Without falling into lava would be good. Okay. I only need four cobble deep slate. So lead, that's all I need. That gets me polished. And that gets me bricks. So are we good on that front? Yes, we've got that one. Now I just need all the iron, wax, and a physical lots that have fire. But once I've got iron, I can be, uh, be cooking that up and make the campfire then. So I'll end up, unless I get coal, which I'm not going to get at this level, uh, make some charcoal. Okay, redstone is nice, but not what I need. That looks like iron. Could be copper. Nope, it was iron. Is there more? Ah. Uh, looks like there's more. One more. Okay, well, that's something. Okay. Oh. Yeah, iron mining should be in a tall mountain, but there's ghasts outside right now. So. Sometimes dripstone areas have decent iron veins. I'm kind of hoping this one does, even though that is probably being excessively optimistic. That's gold, not iron. How many do I need for an anvil? I need. I have seven ingots. That doesn't even get me one block. Three blocks, which would be 27 ingots plus four, 31. 31 ingots. I have seven ingots and five raw. Yeah, we got a ways to go. Thing that I'm seeing here. Oh, there's a little over there. All right. Yeah. Let's see if I can get myself over there without impaling myself on divine light. Uh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Was there anything you could do to yourself with the slowness spell? He said. Appreciate it. That's gold. I don't need gold. 
not going to the nether. We don't need it for the collection. And we've got a creeper. Great. How about you go flying and land on the sword? Oh, or, you know. Or I could switch over to telekinesis and, and, and move you. Do. Really, self? Iron, iron, iron. Found a little. I need a lot. I think I'm probably gonna have to get back to the shop. Um, day two has ended. I don't know if that means it's likely to be tonight. Or were we already into day two? But I get off my wand while I'm in shift mode. Oh, good. Brain slug down there. Diamonds. I can't quite reach. They are more than 30 blocks away. But I don't need them. How about I don't... Ooh. You're stuck. So that's fun. Maybe I will try going down there. Just get away from the horrific zombie thing. Oh, and there's iron next to it. So, yay. So, we've got 15 out of 31. We are almost halfway there for iron. Great. Um, there's more. 17 out of 31. Music, you're a little too energetic right now, but okay. Yeah, you are way fast for a zombie. Can I levitate you? Whatever the heck you are? Yes. Will it kill you? Is a different question. Yes, I am willing to science. Oh, that wasn't enough of a drop for a really good test. And now you're trapped under there, so it, again, will not be enough of a drop for a test. Uh, Without ending up in lava, maybe? Maybe? Okay, cool. You never miss Death Strider more than when you suddenly don't have any armor at all and you are right next to lava. You may not care if this skelly kills me. But I think we may have gotten all we're going to get out of this. Here's that thing again. Yep. Okay. We are at the end of day three and the start of day four. Awesome. Oh, the thing in my ear. Let's have a look what that means I need to do. I need a new friend. Okay. Let's see. Shall join who shall join possible. Let's go for the beeline. 
So, another fish hybrid. Part B, part B line. B line. I need a B. Will you please, please bring me luck in finding a B? Thank you. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to prop you up because clearly you're having difficulty standing. There we go. All right. So now we have the beeline. Possible is still here. Let's get back into game. And... Lovely. Well, we're not going to find bees here. I was avoiding um, planes before, but now planes are actually kind of what I want. And if there could be some exposed iron up that mountain, that would be great. Ah, that was okay. Everything's fine. We are doing fine here. Uh, this does not look like a mountain that's going to give me anything. Could be some exposed iron out here, but seems less likely. And I heard another bidding. So let's hope I don't die while I alt tab over to see what that's about. You want to hear me sing for five minutes? Thanks, Lady Vivian. I appreciate it so much. Let's grab the script and reset the timer from 15. Five minutes. And start. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are looking for a bee. We are not going to wait around for it to fill its hive. We are going to kill it and hope that it does not. Take home as a drop because, 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 because there's just not time for that. Uh, and now I'm seeing why Stina reduced her singing thing from five minutes down to two in fact much harder than i thought i can try to sing along with the music but that's not gonna work very well at all because it goes out of my range <laughs> as for this and you got it because when i change registers my voice does strange things Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, bees, where are you? Bees, 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 bees. Da, 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 da. Oh, this would be easier since I usually sing along with my music and don't realize it until I'm with other people and it makes it. And so I thought this would be an fun incentive and an easy one Hello? to do. Hello? Hello? What am I missing? Hello? We're singing. Hello? Timer stopped. Oh, good. That's wonderful. Because that's what I wanted. Start up again, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if it'll keep going this time. Oh, yay. Exposed iron is a good thing. Let's... That has us to 19 out of 31. 
they're not there. I don't know. Yeah! Yay! My favorite things ever! This is like the angry bees on steroids. You stay still too long and things come to kill you. Great! For those who don't know, there was one month where our challenge was that if you stayed in one place too long, angry bees would perform and kill you. I may possibly have rage quit because that was infuriating. And this time what we have our gas. Is that really the first time I've seen coal? That's Tina's coal, actual in-game coal. I'm really struggling to think of things to say. Oh good, there's a witch on a phantom, because that's also fun. Let's get back up there and see. There can be some more iron up in the mountain. Ooh, or perhaps in that ruined portal. If that's what that is, and not just a disaster created by ghasts. Maybe both. Why not both? Both is not good in this instance, but it could still be the case. Oh good! All the mobs. Is there even a chest? No, not a visible one. Great. Amazing. Fantastic. Healing is no help right now. Let's get back in the air. So this is what you've done, Ed. You have set a game rule to keep giving us storms. I keep getting ghasts and mobs. I love this so much. Okay, let's see what else can I sing, and this is the hardest song I've ever had to try to sing to. It doesn't really lend itself. It's not really meant for singing. Not that any of this really is. Okay. Get down. And this time, of course, I won't smash myself because it actually didn't matter. Da -da 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 -da. Pretty determined there's nothing here except a brain slug. Thanks so much. And you have the most creative ideas, which are lots of fun to watch, less fun to live. Have some. Ready, please. Really not there. But these hills look like the type that would have it either. They're not tall enough, not rocky enough either. But there's at least some. are at 24 out of 31 and time is up. Ah. Chest might have been on the other side. I could have been. Or it could have been buried. Sometimes the chests are buried under 
the nether rock. So now we are at the 26. I need five more iron. Any more over there? There is a little. Maybe it's only one, but I will take every one I can get. Just one. So now we've got 27. I need four more. Four more. Should I try going back over there? Levitation is probably my best offensive spell if I can just, you know, remember to use it. this time. Oh, I can't run anymore. That's special. I never, literally never made the A into red. Great. Yes, we can see if there's a chest under... Out. Do this first. Thank you. Try to kill the source block. Oh, go away, you. on the other side. You were right. I don't know that that's going to give me what I need, but I'll take what I can get before this thing kills me. Yeah. That'll get me almost three ingots. Come on, half a heart. I might as well just let them send me back to spawn. And do what I can with what I've got. Also, uh, did I read myself any logs? I did not. I should be able to get some easily enough. That's less than 30 blocks away. I need three. Okay, of course, it gave me two. I am correct. The only thing I should still need is chip it. Candle. Oh, and the candle. Boom. <clears throat> Wanna throw a far out emote in the chat for that? Because I forgot all about the candle. I haven't seen a bee this entire game. Much less one that's going to give me. because it probably won't be the first one I kill. If I make another... Put this up.
Okay. Thank you, Bunquisha. Yeah, this is the rage part. Exactly. So the lore behind Mage Rage is that when there was peace in the kingdom and the mages no longer had to fight battles, they were getting very restless and getting into all kinds of trouble and occasionally spontaneously exploding. So a call went out across the realm for us to do these tasks of collecting things for our liege. And this is supposed to quell our rage. Instead, it frequently causes more of it. Okay, need four more ingots. I am not gonna get four more ingots, I'm gonna get two. But I still need honeycomb and black dye. Actually, I don't I don't need to cook anything else except potentially food, but I'm pick one. Lovely. Did I just not have room to pick that up? something. Why do I have dark oak planks? Probably don't actually want to know. Um, so I had also been trying to find my way to planes. I think I've been in this direction. So we can try this. grass is greening up over there so I think that should be plains. It's not very well forested. I don't know that I'm going to find bees there and I missed. Love it. Do I remember which direction I was going? No. Why would I remember that? So, you know, it's a good thing I downloaded multiple maps just in case I finished fast, but Boy, was that never going to happen. I've gone in the direction of the village multiple times. So, not in the direction of the village. I mean, I suppose at this point, it would be just as well if it took me another half hour to find two more iron ingots and a bee. That would be a good time for bread. Yeah. Yeah. Fair point. Uh, okay. Don't tell me I did not just look at the Enderman. Yeah. Uh, dig in. Uh, something like that. Light on the subject while I alt tab over. Let's see what that was about. Um. Oh, goodness. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Even It Up, for bringing us to $6,000. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And that is in excess of 50, which was, I believe, let me double check. Butterfly wings, yeah. And there is no point to setting a timer on the butterfly wings, but I guess I will since So I'm, I'm going to have to take my headset off to do this. The other side. Coordination. Pro 
probably should have rehearsed doing this in the chair. Because I can do this a lot faster if I'm not in the chair. Yeah, that's I'm going to knock things One over. One hour all later. Over so we're not doing that. So the reason this also impedes my gameplay is things passing all the way onto my arms. things over anyway. Anyway. I'm breaking the elastic, so we just have one connector for this wing. Oh. Ah! I have butterfly wings, and I now get to attempt to play the game. Put these on for the next however much time we have left. Technically 20 minutes. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is a hazard. Can I make it so they're a little more visible? Not flapping? Maybe? Um, yeah. Alright. Let's set the timer set for 20 minutes. So that would be... Okay. Not 120,000. Yeah. Okay! Lovely butterfly wings in the way of my gameplay. Yes. Why not? Thank you so much for that donation. Even it up, whoever that may be. Uh, we got something out there. Which looks like one of those really weird zombies. But hey, it left, so that's good. Um, I did not know I would still have this effect. Okay, that was lag of some kind. <clears throat> Alright. Can we come up with black candle and a chipped anvil in the time remaining? Let's find out. That's heading back into the savannah. Not if I do things like that. Over there looks like an area where I could find bees. Okay, good. Stuff's starting to burn up. Not gonna help with the creepers, but especially not if we start getting storms again. Because clearly Ed programmed that into these maps. Bees, hello. You are adorable. I don't like to kill you. What? I don't have time. Unless you've got a full hive right here, because I do have Oh, you do not have a full hive right here. So I, I really need you to um I need you to drop me some honeycomb. Thank you. Ah! No. That's just Oh, that's why they're not burning. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm gonna need an ink sac too. But the honeycomb is the bigger problem, usually. Alright, I was right over there. And full inventory is a problem. Ditch that piece of cobble. over to slowness. I think I was right about here somewhere. It looked like the honeycomb despawned in front of me. No, it didn't. Okay. Okay. 
out the piece of string? Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I don't need to put anything in the platelets. Um, I am going to go check out... Can I stop hitting the wrong buttons? Mm. Answer is probably not. Um, oh, I've got to slow this up. Not, I, I don't know if this is the one I was at before. I think it is. Um, yeah, I need... I need more, one more piece of string because I need a piece for the collection, which I have. But I also need one to make more iron ingots. Plus, I need two more iron ingots in 21 minutes, which you would think would not be ridiculous. But have you seen any of this stream? This may not happen. getting up there. See if we can get some iron. Just two. Is that really too much to ask for? I mean, clearly the answer is yes, but still, I don't feel like it should be. I'm going to keep taking silly damage like that. How about I also... What? Alright, that's not even the wings. That's just me being incompetent. have some bread to eat to try to get back. Why? Why no iron? Okay. Let's keep looking. Because, I mean, uh, whoever it was who had said, why aren't you looking up on a mountain, is correct. Mountain tops are typically better locations for iron being buried. Ooh, that stony area could work. Oh! Again with the gas! No! 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 Oh! Did I get at least two iron? I did. Wonderful. You want to kill me? Fine. Got at least that. But, you know, if I could get into the water and find a squid to kill, that'd also be awesome. Got a squid? Those are. Do I need to get rid of dripstone? Okay. So now I need I need one more piece of string, and I need to turn that iron into a chip dam. Well, we should be getting some uh, spiders, so that's fun. I see everything but spiders spawning. Uh, 
Is that a spider there, or is that just my wishful thinking? That is, in fact, a spider. Let's get levitation on board and... Uh, I did not hit it. Great. And now if I hit it, it's gonna land in the water. Uh, thank you for whoever just made a bading happen. I hope right now, for what I hope are fairly obvious reasons, but I will give you a proper thank you in a moment. Yes, second piece of strength. Wonderful. I actually have everything I need. You know what? Go ahead. Send me back to spawn. Go for it. And this is why I keep keep inventory turned on. Um, okay. Let's grab these acacia planks and make myself some kind of shelter before the inevitable gas appear. Okay, and... Um... And keep the furnace on the other side of it, because why not? Everything's fine. We may actually finish this in two hours. Not a thing I thought was going to be the problem. Was it like this or do I make the candle first and then die? I make the candle first and then die. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, now the next fun part. Turning this into a chip dandle. usually super fast. The thing is, the pair of us complement each other. And apparently that was chipped. So yay, I got everything in one hour, 28 minutes and 53 seconds, which I feel like is less time than it actually took, but okay. That's what the timer says. I am going to bleed the Archmage. Oh, you know what? Because I'm in single player, every time I tapped out of the game to go check on a dono or anything, um, that stops the clock because it actually paused the game. I'm so used to playing in on a server with Lady Viv and then it doesn't pause. It just it keeps going. So that would be why. Yay! So we have accomplished the first week of October's Mage Rage. Um, and we crossed, more importantly, more much more importantly, crossed the $6,000 mark for our overall stream to remember fundraising goal, um, which is just amazing. Thank you all so much for that. Um, so I'm not going to start another one. It doesn't really make sense to do that. What I may do um, because I have been very bad about, thank you mods so much for continuing to put information in the chat and such, because I have been terrible about remembering to actually share any of the information relevant to the, um, fundraiser, such as how often people are diagnosed globally with dementia of any form. It's not just Alzheimer's every three seconds globally um, and there 
anticipating that we are going to have 78 million people living with dementia in 2030 and 139 million in 2050, which is just staggering. Um, and what we have now is we have treatments, but we don't have cures. Um, and the treatments aren't as helpful as we would like. There we go. I can please be looking at the screen like that. Um, and I may also, oh, thank you again, Lady Viv, for popping the text into the chat as well. Um, since the dementia research community is in Australia, we have some Australia specific statistics as well. Um, there are an estimated 487,500 Australians living with dementia, um, and about 28,800 with younger onset dementia. Um, which is even more devastating. Um, and it is the second leading cause of death for Australians and the leading cause of death for women in Australia, which are both also staggering facts. So thank you all for all of your donations to help in raising awareness and promoting research for, um, for dementia. And I think what I will do is really quickly run the video uh, from the Bondi to Berry bike race, which starts later today. Um, that is the other arm of this fundraiser um, and is the original arm of this fundraiser. So let me switch over to that and then I will be right back to finish out and raid over to Celestial has a really awesome stream plan. Uh, they're absolutely, I mean, look, absolutely stunning. Great day, sunny, perfect, tailwind, couldn't be anything better. The view from Stanwell Tops looks amazing on a clear day, and it was today. We're a waypoint uh, between uh, Bondi and Berry. Uh, the people will be calling in here for a bit of refreshment and uh, a bit of relief, I should imagine, as well. We're very, very happy to, uh, to have them here. It's been excellent so far. Nice sun and good company. Oh, look, it's amazing. It's pretty tough, actually, but we've got the perfect weather for it and a little bit of a tailwind, so that's definitely making it a little bit easier. My father passed away a couple of years ago from Alzheimer's. Uh, he suffered the, the disease for 20 years. Unfortunately, my paternal grandmother. So many uh, friends of mine's parents have suffered with dementia. Her dad passed away in August. My husband, her dad, passed away 15 weeks ago. I watched my dad go through the whole thing and I thought it would be nice to support. My mum um, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2016 and she passed away in 2019. My uh, father, Dr Paul Kaska, is suffering with dementia. This year was a, a pretty tough year on everybody because um, Nick's dad passed away. I knew Nick's dad really well from uh, school days, um, so I'm happy to support him as much as I can. So unfortunately since we started the ride now, my mum has passed away and Nick's dad has passed away. So. So, so proud of mum. She, uh... A bit crazy. <laughs> it is amazing. She 
so nice to have some good weather after seven years of um, pretty ordinary weather. Perfect weather conditions for it and uh, had a really good crew. Finish <laughs> Yes, definitely. This is my third year, so hoping to do it next year for my fourth year. Definitely, definitely. It's a, it's a wonderful race. Absolutely. Every year. Absolutely. <laughs> We're already signed up. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I'll absolutely be riding again next year, yeah. I will absolutely be back next year and probably many years to come. Without a doubt. Would, would not miss it. It's going back to not showing the game, so that's fun. The, the game is up, um, but and the timer restarted. OBS, what are you doing today? I don't even know. And now there's the game. It's fine. Just stop. Time delay. Um. <laughs> so yes, that does look like an amazing event. Um. I've not been to Australia either. I was actually supposed to go in with bring a bunch of students to Australia for a short term study abroad in the summer of 2020. Shockingly enough, that didn't happen. Um, and I'm not sure whether we'll ever be able to pull that back together. Um, but I would love to go there someday because it really just does look amazingly beautiful. Um, all right. Well, I need to fill five minutes with something. Um, and let me, I mean, I could at least go see what the next week would be because that's what I had queued up. Um, there's not much point to doing anything else. Oh, definitely. Oh, ads are running. Okay. Oh, on your channel. Got it. So we're going to definitely make sure we give enough time for everything to finish over there. And quiet just heard a bling. Um, Carlo, 15. So um, who's, is that, are you looking for Dr. Liz's incentive or my incentive? I can certainly put the fascinator on, but I don't have 15. So we'll do that. You'll get at least what we have left of me wearing this ridiculous. Yeah, let's do both. Both is good. Why not both? Um, this has been amazing. We have lined up for the remainder of the day. We have Celestial up next, who we will be raiding over to shortly. And then after Celestial stream will be the Cosmo finale spelled as I'm about to in chat because it just doesn't work verbally the way it does written. Um, which will be on Richard's channel and he will be playing with Skizzleman, Impulse, and Pearlescent Moon. There will be, I absolutely can guarantee, much screaming and much hilarity. I'm looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I'm also very much looking forward to Celestial Stream. I've seen some of what she's been building and planning for this. And I think you all are going to find it really amazing. She has some really great incentives as well. Um, some of which also involve things that impede gameplay um, or simply look silly. Um, but, uh, but some things that are even better. So we're going to head over there shortly, and it would help if I turned the music back on, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
that would be a thing. Um, that is one downside to the music source that I'm using. Um, okay, and I should also get to here so I can even set the raid to go. Um, we do also have a specific raid call, which is, I think, set it under this. Yes, there we go. There is the raid call for this event. Let's head on over to Celestial. And until next time, thank you very much for everything. For those who followed, for those who donated, for those who lurked, for anyone who was here at all, thank you so much. Thank you, Richard, for organizing this. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.